Welcome back folks and welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be talking about the Witcher 3 Red Kit which was released today in the early playtest on Steam. So as it says here, the Witcher 3 Red Kit is a powerful modding tool for the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on PC that allows you to customize and expand the game as you see fit, from overhauling terrain to creating new quests, animations, characters and more. Now if you are not following the news, uh, last year CD Projekt Red has announced that The Witcher 3 is gonna be getting the official modding tools. And a good thing about all of this is that these modding tools are extremely powerful, meaning that you can really go in and create some awesome stuff and really expand on the game as you see fit. Now of course, if you are on Steam, you can join the Witcher 3 Red Kit playtest, you can request access here and it's going to be granted to you. Now of course, we're gonna be going through everything which I wrote down below in the description. And as they wrote here, unleash your creative spirit to bring your own unique Witcher experience to life and share it with the world. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting out, the Witcher 3 Red Kit offers exciting opportunities for creation. The only limit is your imagination. Please note that the Witcher 3 Red Kit is currently only available for PC users, both for creation and installing the created mod. It is the free to download by the owners of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, so it's interesting that they say like only available for PC users now. Of course, it's a dream that uh, these moddings, you know, mods in general are expanded onto consoles themselves, but I do believe it's not going to happen, at least not right now. Maybe in the future with their next game this is going to be the case, but uh, it's impossible to know right now. Also, it's important to know that achieving the full scope of development akin to the original creators may require access to external tools, which is kinda expected. Immerse yourself in the world of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt like never before, with a plethora of advanced features at your fingertips. You can unleash your creativity and craft an experience that's truly your own. With The Witcher 3 Red Kit, you have the freedom to edit almost anything in the game. So what are you able to make in this? Well, from crafting new quests, items, weapons and characters to developing animations, entire storylines and new territories, these tools empower you to shape your adventure precisely how you envision it. The Witcher 3 Red Kit is more than just a game development tool, it's a love letter to our community. With The Witcher 3 Red Kit, you can share your ideas and inspire others to create a unique gaming experience that is truly your own. We can't wait to see the amazing things you'll do with it, so let's come together and make The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt even more exciting and enjoyable for everyone. Now, one of the more interesting things is that there is going to be a workshop for all of these mods, so this means that um, it's going to be more streamlined if someone creates a mod through this, they upload it to the workshop and you just add it to your game. This should technically Technically, technically, of course, we don't know exactly which mods and dependencies we're gonna be needing for this, but this should mean that installing these mods is also going to be a lot easier than it was before. Now, in some of the images they have released and also the documentation, we can see some of the abilities we have here. And it's honestly very nice that CDPR actually went and released this because I do remember like when The Witcher 3 came out, I was talking about modding tools and uh, even to this day people were saying like what happened to them. Now, do keep in mind that The Witcher 3 did receive some modding tools before, but they were nothing special and you couldn't really do much in it. Also, do keep in mind that this Red Kit is much more powerful than the Cyberpunk 2077 one, which allows for a lot more stuff. So it would be cool that sometimes in the future, of course, if they want to do it, that they expand on the actual Red Kit for Cyberpunk 2077, which should technically allow people to create bigger and better mods. Now, even right now, for example, for The Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk 2077, or well, prior to releasing Red Kit, you had dependencies and frameworks which were created by the community. You also have something called the Woven Kit, which uh, is used by a lot of modders to actually create mods, and uh, one of the cool things about it is that the community has been incredibly active in updating it and making it very good for development of those mods. There is a huge documentation which has been written by people depending on which mod you want to create and if you want to go in this in the first place. But of course, this red kit is going to be a lot more streamlined and it's going to allow you that even if you are new to this, that you can go and, you know, fiddle with some items and maybe create something of your own. Now, of course, a golden rule for all of this, if you're planning to use Red Kit, 
back up your save files, even though the chances of, let's say, save files getting corrupted are quite slim, it is honestly very much good that you back up everything which you have in case you want to do this. Because if any problems happen and you somehow break the game or corrupt the save files, you will have that backup so you don't lose all of your progress. Now of course this is not a full release, so basically this is some sort of a beta test in a nutshell and you can request access for it as I said. If you don't get it, I would you know suggest waiting because uh, they said that the uh, actual playtest is very limited right now, so it's going to take a while until you are accepted later on and of course once this fully you know releases. Now also when it comes to the Steam Workshop, which is also in beta, they said in order to enable access to the Steam Workshop of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, you'll need to join a dedicated group on Steam, I'm going to leave a link to this down below. Once you are part of it, all you need to do is find The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt in your Steam library, go to Properties, Betas and select the Workshop Test. And to be honest, it is really nice to see that um, this game is still getting something even years after its release, because uh, it would be interesting to see see how much the community itself, the modding community, uses this to create new mods. And of course, I do kinda think that the actual, like, the modding scene is going to become a lot bigger now, hopefully, because even to this day, keep in mind, even with the limited uh, tools that modders have, they're still creating mods for this game and they're still being updated, so in a nutshell, this should be a very nice uh, stepping stone to just have more mods for The Witcher until we wait for the next Witcher game or, well, the next Cyberpunk game. Of course, at first do not expect any huge mod, it's going to take a while until bigger mods are created, but um, some of the first ones which I do see, I'm of course going to cover them in my future videos. And also one of the great things when it comes to releasing any sort of modding tools is that you increase the lifespan of the game. Because The Witcher 3, even to this day, even without huge modding tools, has been very active on Steam and other platforms, so it will be interesting to see how much is this going to develop, but I do believe strongly that this is going to give even more years to the game itself. So that's it for today, of course I will be going through these modding tools and once I go properly through it and all of the documentation, I will be making more videos about it. So thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more, and of course let me know down below what do you think about it, especially if you're a modder because you can provide a much broader, uh, how would I say, explanation of if this is good or bad. Also join our community on Twitter and Discord and huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.